I have here a marvelous device, which is a beautiful example of action equals minus reaction. I show you from above what it looks like. You'll see more details later. It rotates about this axis rather freely. The axis is vertical. And we have here a reservoir of water, which we will heat up. It turns into steam, and these are hollow tubes, and the steam will squirt out. And so when the steam squirts out in this direction, the tube exerts a force on the steam in this direction, so the steam exerts an equal force in the opposite direction, and so the thing will start to rotate like this. And I would like to demonstrate that. You can see it now there. There's a little bit of luck there, you see it. So, we're going to heat it. Walking. When you walk, you push against the floor. The floor pushes back at you. And if the floor wouldn't push back at you, you couldn't even walk, you couldn't go forward. If you walk on ice, very slippery, you can't go anywhere. Because you can't push on the ice, so the ice won't push back on you. That's another example where you see action equals minus reaction. This engine is called Hero's engine. Hero, according to the Greek legend, was a priestess of Aphrodite. Let's first look at it. She was a priestess of Aphrodite. And her lover, Leander, would swim across the Hellespont every night to be with her. And then one night, the poor guy drowned, and Hero threw herself into the sea. Very romantic thing to do, but of course also not very smart thing to do. On the other hand, it must have been a smart lady if she invented really this engine. Yesterday, I looked at the web, ask.com. It's wonderful. You can ask any question. You can say, how old am I? Now, you may not get the right answer, but you can ask any question. And I typed in Hero's Engine. And out popped a very nice, high-tech version of Hero's Engine. A soda can. You pop four holes in the soda can at the bottom. So here's your soda can. Pop four holes in here, but when you put a nail in there, you bend every time the nail to the same side, so the holes are slanted. You put it in water, you lift it out of water, and you have a uh, hero's engine. And I made it for you. It took me only five minutes. I went to one of MIT's machines, got myself a soda, put the holes in it, and here it is. It's in the water there. When I lift it out, You'll see the water squirt. There it goes. High-tech version of Hero's Engine. It also makes a bit of a mess, but okay. All right. Try to make one. It's fun. And it's very quick. It doesn't take much time at all. <laughs> 